Hey, it's Oscar from the Coding Universe, and this is episode 9 of my Java game development series. In this episode, I'll be covering creating Pong. Now, Pong is a simple 2D game seen as the hello world of game programming. So we're going to create a new class called Pong Game in a package called Pong, with of course the main method, public static void main, array of string. And in this main method we're going to say new Pong Game. And we're also going to create that constructor. So public Pong Game. I'm going to create some constants. So public static final int width is 640 and public static final int height is 480. In the pong, pong game method, I'm going to say set up display set up OpenGL, set up entities, and set up timer. And then I'm going to do while is running display uh, render logic this display dot update to 60 frames per second and display dot or actually this should be display dot update for nothing and display dot sync to 60 frames per second. Now also import everything in org dot lightweight java game library. Everything in org dot lightweight java game library dot opengl. And of course statically import org dot lightweight java game library dot opengl dot gl11. To import the OpenGL 1.1 specification. Of course, I've created all these methods and these do not yet exist, so guess what? We're going to create these methods private void setup display, private void setup OpenGL. Private void setup entities and private void setup timer. Also, private void render and private void logic, which takes a delta. And also create a variable called is running. So private boolean is running is true. And we can implement the delta pattern. I've created this in an earlier tutorial. And also say if if display is close requested is running is false. Okay. Now in the setup open gel method, I'm going to call gl matrix. Actually, I can just copy this in from the simple open gel renderer class. Not cut copy. Copy this in and set up timer say last frame is get time. And render GL clear GL color buffer bit. 
color it like a bit. And then the logic method, I'll do something later. Now we can create some entities, so a ball and a bat. Of course, we have those in Pong as well. So private static class bat extends abstract entity, a class we've created in episode 8. Abstract entity. Oh crap. And the unimplemented methods and constructor. And the draw method just do something like gl rect d x y x plus width and y plus height. Oh, we should actually extend abstract movable entity. Okay, to copy this. And create another class called all and there we go so create some variables private ball ball and private bat bat go to setup entities and say bat is new bat first we've got our x which is going to be 10 then we've got our y, which is going to be height, divided by 2, minus, I could probably omit these parentheses, minus 80 divided by 2, which is going to be our height divided by 2. And the width is going to be 10, and the height is going to be 80. Our ball is going to be a new ball x is going to be width divided by 2 minus 10 divided by 2 height is going to be or actually y is going to be height divided by 2 minus height divided by 2 for both heights oh and uh, 10 for width and 10 for height and the draw method Draw, 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 or render, I called it. I can say ball.draw and bat.draw. No pointer exception. Oh, not again. <laughs> um, Okay, I've never had that before. That's interesting. Let's start again. Um, yeah, it gives me a null pointer exception. Oh, yeah, of course I have to set up the display. Da. Go to the display initialization code. It's simple OpenGL renderer .java. Copy it in. And say something like uh, all should be width and this should be height okay so we have our window we have our bat and we have our ball it's fantastic and I've already been mumbling for almost 10 minutes let's do the input stuff quickly oh no oh it doesn't quit uh, course I have to call display.destroy after the main loop. Never mind that, you should do this as well after the main loop immediately. Don't make the same mistake I just made about 10 times. In logic say ball.update delta and bat.update delta as well. So also say private boy uh, no in the logic method say if ball 
dot x is smaller than smaller or the same as bat dot get x and ball dot get x is greater or the same as it should be plus bat dot get width get width and ball dot get x is greater than ball dot get x or bat dot get x oh, this is confusing and ball dot get y is larger than larger or the same as bat dot get y and ball dot get y is smaller or the same as bat dot get y plus bat dot get height there we go so that's for the collision detection if the ball is hitting the bat we can set the dx value to 0 0.3 and in the setup entities we can also initialize the dx variable to minus 0 0.1 so the ball comes and ball leaves Now we can also add a method called input here. So input and implement the method. We can do if keyboard is key down keyboard dot key up ball dot set by minus one point two else if keyboard is key down keyboard keyboard key down all dot set dy point two else ball dot set dy zero okay when I do this I can control the Oh, I just did the ball, really. Ah. Uh, I actually need to put that here. Okay, so I can move the bat. And I have a ball. So, that's all I'm going to tell you today. This was Oscar from the Coding Universe, and I hope you enjoyed the video.